Hey guys, Corey Famous Media, and I have some very exciting news. I've been working on a custom log profile for the Canon 1DX Mark II and 5D Mark IV. Been working extensively on this picture profile over the course of the last eight weeks. Uh, I've got a 1DC recently, about two weeks ago, which I've been comparing uh, and finalizing my custom log profile to closely resemble that of the 1DC. Now, there are many picture profiles floating around the internet. So what makes it different is the fact that my profile doesn't over uh, accent the shadows or the highlights too much. And what I mean by that is, here's an example. The original 1DX was capable of 12 stops of dynamic range, whereas the new 1DX Mark II is capable of about 13.5 to 13.8 roughly as per DXO rating. Now, with the original 1DX, people were making profiles and lifting the shadows and crushing the highlights as much as possible to get more dynamic range than with the neutral or even with C-Log trying to get the most out of the camera. But the sensor depicts how much dynamic range you can get. No matter how good you are with a gamma graph, you're not going to be able to get more dynamic range than the sensor is capable of. So all these custom picture profiles I've seen from all over the web from different users say C-Log and all of them are more flat than the actual C-Log profile. I've compared it to the original C-Log in my C300 Mark II, which I'm filming on right now, and the 1DC, and they're all more flat, much more flat than Canon Log. So I've created the gamma curve to actually match what the sensor can output. Now with the 1DX Mark II and the 5D Mark IV having over 13 and a half stops of dynamic range, I've been able to lift the shadows and create the curve nice and smooth to match the 1DC, but give you even more dynamic range for the 1DX Mark II and 5D Mark IV. Now there's also color science here. Uh, I've spent several, several hours, probably eight to 10 hours or more, just matching and going back and forth, trying to get the color science correct. Now, my picture profile is not gonna be 100% looking at them side by side. It's going to be very hard to tell any major differences. They're just really close. I'm gonna put um, a picture there in the link where you can get the C-Log profile and you're gonna see the comparison. I've got the link down there in the information box to go grab that picture profile and you will see the picture comparing it to neutral and some very popular C-Log profiles I've downloaded across the web, which most likely you've used as well. So you'll see how close my picture profile is and I selected some of the better profiles I've found uh, and the most popular ones as well to compare to mine so you can see how truly close my profile is to the 1DC's C-Log. So I didn't want to charge for this C-Log profile, but with the amount of time I've put into it, I figured $20 for the profile will be fair. And hopefully you guys think it's fair as well, but leave me a comment below and let me know if you like it. If you download it and purchased it, let me know how it's working out for you. They will work on all Canon cameras, but they were specifically set up for the 1DX Mark II and the 5D Mark IV, but they, this picture profile will work in all Canon cameras. If you're interested in me creating a specific profile to look as good as this one, but specifically for your camera, let me know and leave that below in the comments. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am about having this picture profile for your Canon 1DX Mark II, 5D Mark IV. It is absolutely awesome. And hopefully you guys will support the channel and purchase the profile if you're looking to get the absolute most dynamic range out of your camera. Till next time, I'm Corey with Famous Media and happy shooting.